today you are going to teach me how to stamp jewelry. I, I always seen those pieces, like people have the mom's necklaces and all those things. And I think, is that what we're going to learn how to do? Today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Stamps metal. It's actually a really personalized gift. And it's so fun because you can write whatever you'd like. And the stamps come in not only letters and numbers, but there's little emojis and little characters. So you can really, really make a, a custom gift. It. Is yeah. It, is it hard to do? No, okay. very easy. Anyone could do this. Okay. You can hold a hammer. You can do this. It's even a tiny hammer. It's a little baby <laughs> one. I love it. But first I have a gift for you. Okay. Just to kind of show an example of what we're going to make. A gift okay. for me? Yes. Here you go. Okay. I made you something. Ah! Uh, <laughs> look at that. So we're going to make something like that today. Awesome. I cannot wait. Really? You think I'm going to be able to do this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's actually really nice too. Like if you're so feeling nice. a little aggression and you just want to like psh, Okay. Bang out some things you can do. That, it. that never happens to me. Really? Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, whoa, I was going to say that that's not normal. <laughs> uh, okay. So what you need is you need some metal blanks and it comes in tons of different sizes, shapes. They come pre-drilled. If you don't, you can also just buy them just without you. So you can put your holes in wherever you'd like. You just need a really good hole punch, the size that you need. You can also use a metal one too if it's sterling. Okay. These are aluminum because I just found that it's just easier yep. to hammer into. Um, and so just some jump rings. If you'd okay. like to hang it from a chain like I've done here, you'll need a couple uh, pliers just to open the jump ring because you know you want to twist them open. You don't want to pull them apart. Um, so we've got a couple of those. And then of course your stamps. And they, again, they come in a whole bunch of different sizes and fonts and okay. things. Uh, the other thing is, it's really important is a steel bu uh, block because if you do it on wood, um, it will leave an impression. Mm -hmm. And then the next time you do it, it just won't come yeah. out as great. Well, so. if you want to continue doing it on a regular basis, you can't keep hammering on your wooden table. Yes. Correct. <laughs> yes. Okay. Unless you want some imprints on your table <laughs> yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you have your steel block. Mm -hmm. um, and then which blank would you like to do or use? Oh, and washi tape helps too, like a real, or a good masking tape. Because okay. it will help hold the blank down Into to the metal place. Block. Okay. I want to try this long guy. Okay. Which side is it? Does it matter? I think this side probably looks yes. like the front. Okay. Yep. Okay. So yeah, you can uh, put it on here as however you'd like. Would you like the name to go horizontal or vertical? Um, let's do vertical. Okay. I just have to find the end of this. Hold up. <laughs> I love your washi tape. Ah, oh, thank you. This is really good. You want to make sure you have like pretty good tacky. You know, some of it, it, the quality really matters with washi tape, yeah. but this is a good one. Okay, okay. so you want to put um, some on the top and some on the bottom. All right. And okay, well, do you know what you want to write? I do. Okay. Is it a long word? Is it? No. <laughs> How many letters? It's a four letter word. Four letter word. Okay. Not naughty. Oh, okay. 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 You could do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. So find the letters. Okay. And then um, when you, I always find if it's better to work your way in and then out. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're doing it horizontally, I guess it doesn't matter because of how you, you know, how you have it here, you can really visually see. Mm -hmm. um, but generally when you're doing a horizontal word, it's better to go from the inside out. Okay. Um, but yeah, Got you've picked it. a good way to do it. All right. Okay. Well, I, what's your word? It's going to be the word Lisa. For my friend Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Sweet. Yes. Okay. Okay. But now I have to find the A. Here we go. Okay. All right. Yes. Perfect. I probably should have this in alphabetical order, yes. but you know, details. Okay. Well, that was a good, good exercise for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I've got my little hammer. You could use really any hammer you'd like. Uh, and you can also find as you, you're doing this, you'll have your own little technique. I like the one wop. Mm -hmm. Some people, you like to do little taps. Okay. But when you do one, you know that you just get a nice impression. Bam. Up. Done. Yep. So um, you lefty, righty? I'm, I'm left-handed. Me too. All right. Okay. So you have your L? I do. Okay. okay. So um, I kind of like also too, if you want to get really te technical with this, you could measure it out and you could put your tape and then write, you know, as you line up your stamp, you can make sure that it goes right along the, the, the tape, but that's yep. really up to you. I kind of like it a little bit, you know, free style. I like that too. Okay, perfect. Okay. So what you want to do yes. is take your stamp and then put it right where you'd like to stamp it. All and right. you want to hold it kind of low to, All right. yep. On the stamp. Yep. Just All right. Back. Yep. And then you want to use the flat side of the hammer right. and give it one good whack. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Oop. You know I, what? I did do it. That's good. <laughs> yes. Okay. L. There you go. <laughs> Very you, good. I just want to applaud you. That's some serious stamina because you, 
I don't know if everybody saw, but I have four children, and they don't have short names necessarily. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, and as you went along, the names got longer. Yeah. Look, Chandler, his little L had to be on a little side oh. there, but it all fit okay. eventually. Okay, here's the eye. I got the all eye. All right, the eye. Okay. Okay. Yep. And, whoop, whoop. turn it around. There you go. Perfect. Is that enough? Let's see. Okay, now, if you have something that's like, it Not didn't quite, quite go in, yeah. you just kind of get down on its level. Yep, or you can feel for it. I yeah. guess the eye is a little easier. And yeah. then there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I got it. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Now, uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do. Yep. Perfect. And you can also hang these off uh, a bracelet. Nice. And here's your A. Okay. You can make little keychains. You could yeah. you could put these on cards. That's really and they're lightweight. That's the other thing that's really nice. Okay. I did it. Nice. Here you go. Beautiful. <laughs> Great job. Thank you. It's oh. <laughs> a lot of concentration. <laughs> uh-huh. It actually it's pretty therapeutic, so yeah. you're really good. Okay. okay. So take the washi tape off. You're ready to go with that. Now, my trick to really get the letters to sh to show mm -hmm. is a Sharpie. You can buy a lot of fancy like enamel to put inside, um, a whole bunch of different things, wow. but Sharpie I find is the best. I like myself a Sharpie. Yes. So, what you'll need mm -hmm. is a paper towel. Okay. Those are there. We'll put that underneath what you've stamped. All right. Okay. And um, yeah, so what you're gonna do is you wanna make sure you get right into the impression. And it doesn't matter, you can just scribble it right on. Just make sure the <gasps> point goes right in there. Oh, oh, okay. Yep, because you wanna make sure that the ink goes down okay. into it. Yep. Okay. Okay, now before it dries, you wanna take your paper towel and just wipe. You could also get a polish pad for this too, but again, I just find if you do this like this, it's really <gasps> easy. See, and then it gets. It gives it a little patina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. And depending on how dark you want it, you can sharpie it again, do it again. I like it, I like it this way. Yeah, looks good. Looks really good. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take um, in one in each hand. Okay. <laughs> and write, so this is a jump ring versus a split ring. Yeah. And so it's just a circle and the two ends meet. All right. And you'll want to crimp on either side. Mm -hmm. Okay, now one thing you don't wanna do is pull it apart because that ruins Put the back. integrity mm -hmm. of the wire. So yep, you just wanna actually just twist one forward, one back. Okay. Why is this hard for me right now? Okay. There you go, perfect. And that should be just enough for you to pop this in. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I have a longer chain for Lisa. I think she'd like that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Did I go in? Yes, it did. So now I, do I tighten it again? Nope, not yet. Let's put okay. the chain in first. Okay. Let's see if there's enough. There you go. And now, Perfect. yep. Same thing? Same thing. You, yep. Okay. Hold it in one, grab your other ones, and twist it back. Mm -hmm. And then you can also add different beads. You can add more charms. Okay. There you go. I did it. Yay. Yay. See, isn't that simple? Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Mm -hmm. Does something like this cost a lot of money to get into? Not really. Okay. Uh, the stamps are where the cost is. The they the can be, yeah, yeah, 20, 40 bucks, something okay. like that. But otherwise, um, the blanks are pretty reasonably priced. A lot of the stuff you can find online too yeah. in, in your local craft stores. Well, it's just a great uh, gift giving idea, like you said. So thank yeah. you so much for teaching me. Thanks for having me.